Hey guys, welcome to Off the Great Wall. I am Dan. I'm Mia. All right, so last time we did a video, if you remember, about the four most beautiful women in Chinese history. If you haven't, check it out here. The four most beautiful women in Chinese history, Xi Shi, Diao Chan, Wang Zhaojun, Yang Guifei, are basically household names. They all lived tragic lives, and some played significant role in shaping Chinese history. Mm-hmm. But this is a bit unfair. Everyone talks about the women, but what about the men? Who are the most handsome men in Chinese history? After me, of course. So when it comes to handsome men, the stories and legends vary about who are the most handsome, whether there were four or ten. So according to most sources, the titles of most handsome men in Chinese history belongs to Pan An, Song Yu, Lan Ling Wang, and Wei Jie. So here you go, guys. Meet the four most handsome men in Chinese history. Pan An lived during the Xi Jin Dynasty and was considered the most handsome man in Chinese history. So there's even a Chinese saying, "Mao Si Pan An," or "Look like Pan An," to describe very handsome men. Pan An was so handsome; he was like a rock star. When he would go out on his carriage, women would gather, follow him, and throw fruits into his carriage. To the point of when he went home, his carriage would be full of fruits. So this coined the phrase 治国迎车 which is used to describe a woman's affection towards a man. In his personal life, Pan An was a good man. He was a very talented poet and a scholar, aren't they all? Who married a woman from a higher social class. Even though Pan An was besieged with admiration from women everywhere, he was always faithful to his、Aww. wife. After his wife died, he wrote three poems called Dao Wang Shi, which was at the time, because of women's lowly state in society, one of the few poems to openly mourn the passing of a woman. Pan An may have the looks, but he was not so fortunate. After helping to frame the emperor's son for treason, Pan An and his whole family were beheaded. For his crimes, number two, Song Yu. Little reliable biographical information is available about Song Yu, the well-known Chinese poet. Aren't they all? Was commonly said to have been the student of Chu Yuan, who was one of the greatest poets and patriots in Chinese history. He was assigned to a minor post in the royal courts of Chu. Though the king appreciated his literary talent, he was under constant slanders from jealous officials. He was soon stripped of his position and returned home, where he later died. Song Yu was said to be the second most handsome man in Chinese history, although no portrait of him was ever found. The tale of Song Yu's handsomeness is from a literary work called Dan Tu Zi Hao Se Fu or Dan Tu Zi the Lustful. So in the story, an official called Dan Tu Zi wanted to make Song Yu look bad in front of the king of Chu. So Dan Tu Zi told the king that Song Yu was very handsome and also a very lustful man, and that the king should make him leave the palace. The king approached Song Yu and asked him to explain himself. <laughs> Song Yu said, "The most beautiful woman under the sun lives in the country of Chu." Within the country of Chu, the most beautiful woman lives in my hometown. The most beautiful girl in my hometown is my neighbor. He added, she has flowing black hair, sparkling eyes, white teeth, and slender figure. This girl climbed the wall between our houses and stared at me for three years, and still I would not pay attention to her. So he added, but Deng Tuzi, on the other hand, is married to a woman whose hair is all over the place, has a lazy eye, fat. And yellow teeth, limps, and has blemishes all over her body. But Deng Tuzi had five children with her. So now you tell me who is more lustful? The king then exiled Deng Tuzi out of the palace. Wait, 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 wait. So how does that explain how handsome he was? Because the king didn't want a good-looking, lustful man in the palace around all his beautiful wives and concubines. True that. Number three, Lan Ling Wang, King Lan Ling, was a ferocious general born during the Northern Qi Dynasty. Because of his skills in battle, he was revered by all the soldiers around him. Besides being a brilliant general, King Lan Ling had a beautiful face, which he always hid behind an iron mask in battle because he believed his face was too beautiful to intimidate the enemy. Or he didn't want any scars on that because that's what I would do. That's, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. After one particularly dangerous battle, the emperor asked King Lan Ling how he was able to be so brave and always rush into the heart of the fight. King Lan Ling answered that he considered the country's problems as his own problems because he seemingly equated the country as his own. The emperor grew very wary of King Lan Ling, fearing that he would revolt and eventually executed him. Number four, Wei Jie. Wei Jie, like Pan An, also lived during the Xi Jin Dynasty. Wei Jie was said to have silky white skin and so handsome he had fans from far and wide, kind of like me. 
This, unfortunately, was also the cause of his death. Weichi did not have a strong body. Kind of like you. One day, he went on a trip and was surrounded by floods of beautiful women for days. And after Wei Jie returned home, his body gave out from all the stress. Of talking to beautiful ladies? Well, after his death, 看杀 Wei Jie, or looks killed Wei Jie, became a saying used to describe someone who is being admired. Wow, so he was basically admired to death. What a way to die. Wow. I definitely don't have that problem. So today we learned 貌似潘安. Hot like Pan An. throwing fruits to fill up a cart. Means a woman's admiration for a man. And Kan Sha Wei Jie, looks killed Wei Jie. Being admired to death. I still don't get that one. <laughs> okay, guys, so there you go. Now you know who the four most handsome men are in Chinese history. Like the women, none of these men had good lives either. Guess Hong Yan Bo Ming applies to both women and men. So basically, according to ancient Chinese history, whether you're a man or a woman, if you are beautiful, you're gonna die. Pretty in much. In a really bad way. Pretty like, much. Like usually your head's gonna get cut off. Either from jealousy, betrayal, or because you're admired to death. I mean, one guy was a general and he like saved a bunch of people's lives and still got killed. Yeah. Dude, at that point, I would have just been like, mask off, look at my beautiful face. I would have just been like that. You can't kill a face like this. Uh -huh. All right, guys, we hope you liked that. Um, I certainly had no idea. I knew about the four famous Chinese women. Yeah. Like Yang Kui Fei and all Much those other more ladies. Much more famous. Yeah. But I had no idea. Uh, I had no idea, like, you know, China had, like, four most beautiful guys or ten most beautiful guys. Now you guys do. So make sure you <laughs> like us, subscribe to us, uh, leave some comments on here. And, guys, we want to take this opportunity to thank Jason Persley, one of our biggest fans, for making a contribution to our channel. Jason, thank you so much. And we also want to give a shout-out to Juke Puppy, who is one of our biggest, most loyal fans. She's always posting on Facebook, YouTube, and sharing our content. And we thank you very much, as we do with all of you guys. So thank you guys so much. Bye!